This was a series of paintings that I did uh, in the late 90s. These paintings, uh, men in ball gowns or the drag queens, uh, were done 20 years ago. Kind of like way before anything happened, the world became a different place. I started this series of paintings on Mrs. called the Mrs. Lennox series because this guy, Ken, dressed up, looks just like, um, oh, what's her name? Annie Lennox's mother from the Eurythmics. And so I'm convinced this is what Annie Lennox's mother looks like. And so that's why the series is called the Mrs. Lennox series. There's about 10 of them, 10 drag queens in different costumes. I'm just gonna let you talk. Yeah, but I'm just gonna talk. What do you want me to talk about? Your life. Well, I mean, you've had a very interesting life. Yeah, good and bad, sure. I, it's been interesting. <laughs> I mean, from someone from Claremore that went to New York City, well, that you have all your paintings all over the world. I was lucky. Simple as that. And I work hard. And I had a dream, I really did, that I could make my living from painting. But you knew this at a young age. Well, I sold my first painting when I was 12. I had my first one-man show when I was 12. My dad had built a building, had a strip shopping center he had built in the very last apart, or very last space, and it was a uh, an office. And I said, "Can I have this office for two weeks to have an art show?" And he said, "Well, yeah, sure." So I had an art show, and I sold my first painting. Now this would be 1964 for $60. My paintings, perfect. So here we are 50 years later and 53 years later and I'm uh, 